So I think that my list is complete. So it's officially summer and I've been working on a list of free patterns that I'm going to be making for the summer 10 free summer dresses all beginner friendly and I thought that I would share those with you guys today just because I mean they're free and so I am going to be sharing you sharing you I'm going to be sharing with you today all of the dresses that I intend to make for summer all of these are free patterns you can find readily available online and so I'm just going to be sharing them with you today so what's my list what's on my list the first thing that is on my list is the Clementine dress by Mood.com. Now this dress was trending last summer. Everyone had this on their list and I never made it because I was still a beginner and I thought it would have been a little difficult for me to kind of get into and I just didn't want to waste any fabric. So I didn't even attempt it. So this dress is, it, it's kind of sexy. It's one shoulder, it has a cutout, very cute. Um, now that I'm looking at it, I don't feel as intimidated. Um, it just has some elastics going through it. Pretty simple in my opinion. I think it would be the perfect dress to go to the beach in, go to brunch in, maybe go to dinner. I think you can wear this to dinner in the summer. I don't think anybody would say you're underdressed by any means. Uh, all you need is about three and a half yards of fabric, some elastic, and you're good to go. So the second dress on my list is a tank dress and it's also by mood.com it's called the sylvan dress now for me i love to wear tank dresses especially in the summer just because it's it's nice and easy to put on you don't have to iron it you don't have to worry about all of that other stuff you could dress it up you could dress it down and so this tank i was looking for a free tank dress for so long but honestly i i don't know i just wasn't finding anything that caught my eye but this one did probably because it's free and the sylvan tank you can actually make a shirt shirts as well as dresses so it has three different options you can make a tank or you can make a crop tank or you can make a kind of like a mini dress so i think i would cut i would probably make a mini dress and probably try and hack the pattern to make a longer dress that i could wear to dinner a little classier um, and of course you can make this this is only you only need two yards of fabric for this and you can use rib knit waffle knit bamboo jersey or peak knit i think that's what it is it's relatively very easy to sew I've sewn a few jersey dresses in my time before if you are a true beginner you won't have a serger you won't need one you can just use a zigzag stitch but if you do have a serger this dress will take you maybe 30 40 minutes max so it's a very super easy peasy sew um, the next dress on my list is the mall dress so this is a minimal waste sewing pattern which means you won't be wasting too much pattern you're kind of going to use everything that you need this is a lot of fabric though it's like three to five yards of fabric um and it's more of a kind of a baby doll kind of dress this kind of makes me a little nervous because i have to gather with this but i think i'll be confident enough this summer that i'm i'm gonna get it i promise you i'm gonna perfect the art of gathering this summer um so for this dress even though it kind of looks frumpy i think you can you can kind of play with the patterns the the panels that you're gonna cut out if you're short like me i think i'm going to kind of shorten the panels to make it a shorter type of dress it also comes with with pockets if you're not if you don't think you have the skills to make pockets you can omit them but i think i think you'll be able to do it it's a very cute dress very summery take it to date take it from daytime to nighttime and i think with some flats cute pair of heels you'll be best dressed we'll see and so the last pattern on my list by mood is the dill so um i have a little disclaimer so when i put this on my list i was like oh i don't know this kind of looks a little frumpy it looks like a paper bag but there's just there's just something unique about about the dress i feel like the asymmetrical kind of panel little thing i don't know i really like something about it. something something about it caught my eye um i think it can be very cute that's why it's on my list i'm gonna make it and i mean if it looks good it looks good but we're gonna try we're gonna we're gonna try a thing 
And so this pattern, you're gonna need about four to five yards of fabric, which is, which is a lot, it's a lot. Um, so I have a lot of fabric to play with. I have, well, this I won't be able to use because this is more of an eyelet fabric, but I have lots of fabric that, can you see this? But like, I have so much fabric to play with. This is white. I'm trying to get away from white. This is another white fabric, but I have so much fabric that I want to play around with this summer. So this dress, I think I'm going to do this in white just because I'm unsure about this and you can never go wrong with white or linen in the summer. So bear with me. This might be a stretch. <laughs> this might be a stretch, but I think it's cute. Um, so yeah, that's the last free pattern on my list from mood and so now we're gonna move on to some free patterns by peppermint magazine so the first one up is the bowen dress now this pattern might overwhelm me because i'm just so small but i like roomy dresses for the summer just because i don't want fabric sticking to me i don't want to be hot and sweaty so this is why this is on my list this is a very voluminous dress this is a tent dress with lots of shoulders lots of fabric uh, this one does have buttons, which I'm still a bit iffy with, but I think this summer is all about challenging myself, so that's why this is on my list. If you buy a really cute print material, I think it's going to be very outstanding. So again, you know, there are some things on this list that I am playing around with, trying to challenge myself, and this is definitely one of those dresses. Moving along we are going to go to the peppermint magazine barden dress so let me give you some backstory on this dress i tried this dress last summer when i was learning together and it came out okay but i wasn't 100 percent satisfied because i thought my gathers could have been better this year i attempt to perfect <laughs> I, per I want to perfect this dress so that's why it's back on my list i think it's it's very summery. It's very, very summery. You can do this in maybe like a pop of yellow or pink. It's just very cute. It has a nice bodice top, very flowy dress. Looks good on anybody. So that's why this is on this list, as well as the fact that I'm challenging myself to outdo what I did last year. Um, you can make this in like cotton twill, poplin, possibly even a linen and it's simple it's really simple it's just cutting out squares and the bodice and then gathering everything which is my problem and so after the barton we're moving on to the wide strap maxi dress now this dress screams sophisticated it screams rich summer i'm on my yacht in st bart's type vibe and this is just um a very long floor length maxi with wide straps elasticated back and if you are traveling and you want to kind of downsize your, road, your wardrobe, this would be good if you are going to the beach, going to brunch, you even want to wear this to dinner. So this is one of those pieces that you can kind of rotate a lot and um, you can even wear a top over this. You can, you can just do so much with this. So this is one of those dresses that has multi-use and you can take with you any and everywhere. So this is why I love this. It has slits to the side, which is very exciting to me. And again, if you're comfortable with pattern hacking, you can even make this shorter, which is what I intend to do as well. And yeah, I really love this and I'm excited to make this dress. That was supposed to be the last Peppermint Magazine pattern, but I had to remove a dress off of my list just because of some political reasons it was a pattern and we're just not going to talk about it we're just gonna i'm just gonna fill you in with what i changed it to so this isn't a dress this is actually a robe jacket which i think for the summer can be used as a cover-up you can just do so much with these things i'm insanely addicted to kimonos and tunics and that's why this is on this list i love it i like i say i'm addicted so i think you'll have fun making this just to wear over a pair of shorts over your tank tops your bathing suits okay so we're almost at the end of our list we are at number nine 
and this pattern is called the Barcelona dress and this is by Marge I hope I'm pronouncing the name right and so the good thing about this pattern is this comes in three different versions you can get the top you can get a midi slash short dress and you can also make a long dress it's kind of similar to the dress that I'm wearing it has a v-neck to the front a v-neck to the back as well as some ties to the top which makes it as summery as you possibly this this is quintessentially summer and what i love about this pattern is it is super simple all you have to do is cut out your pattern pieces sew the sides attach the straps in a few more steps but that's really it and it it is just so sexy in my opinion there's nothing there's nothing that beats a v v neck to the front and a v neck to the back so i really really love this pattern and my last and final pattern is a pat it's not really a pattern it's just instructions on how to make a sheer dress and this is by collective gen so last year if you're very concerned about shearing, I just want to, my advice to you, it's, it's very simple. I was able to make it last year in my first year of sewing. Actually, in the first couple months of sewing, I sheared a dress. And shearing is nothing more than using elasticated thread to make a design on the dress, which helps it to like crumple up. I know this is this is totally wrong how I'm explaining to you but if you do a just simple search of sheer dresses you'll see how very popular they are in the summer and so this pattern or this pattern direction shows you how to make your basically how to make your own pattern how to just create your own sheer dress it's super simple like super simple guys very easy and I'm like by the time as the end of the summer comes I'm sure you guys will make like four or five of them just because they're that cute they're that chic very cool summer appropriate so that one is by collective Jen and that is the 10th free pattern on my list the 10th free a beginner pattern on my list I hope you guys um, have written all these down they're gonna be in the comment section but that is that's the end of my list uh, we went through a ton of dresses done a cute dresses you have lots of options for your summer sewing plans in my opinion I hope to make all of these please keep me accountable I've already made about two of them uh, so I think I'm doing pretty well so if you guys enjoyed all of the dresses in this video please let me know in the comment section i really think that this is gonna be a good summer for sewing so that is gonna do it for this video thank you guys for watching as always thank you for supporting that channel and don't forget to go out there and sew and have fun and just really conquer your sewing first so that's gonna be it for me um see you guys later